by the Lord of sea and sky I have heard my people cry All who dwell in dark and sin My hand will save I who made the stars of night I will make their darkness bright Who will bear my light to them Whom shall I send Is it I, Lord, I have heard you calling in the night, I will go, Lord, if you Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Monday the 10th of January. We begin our time together as always with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Loving God, help us to grasp more fully the breadth of your mercy and the extent of your pardon. 
to understand that you do not seek to condemn or to punish, but rather to delight and to forgive, always being ready to wipe the slate clean and offer new beginnings. Help us then to acknowledge our faults, not to despair at our weaknesses, but rejoicing at your grace, not dwelling on our faults, but exulting in the generosity of your love. Thank you that today and every day we can turn from the old to the new, knowing that the past is dealt with and the future beckons. A fresh chapter made possible by you. Merciful God, cleanse, transform, renew, restore us. Forgive and refashion as only you can do. Amen. 2 Samuel chapter 1 After the death of Saul, David returned from striking down the Amalekites and stayed in Ziklag two days. On the third day, a man arrived from Saul's camp with his clothes torn and dust on his head. When he came to David, he fell to the ground to pay him honor. Where have you come from? David asked him. He answered, I have escaped from the Israelite camp. What happened? David asked. Tell me. The men fled from the battle, he replied. Many of them fell and died. And Saul and his son Jonathan are dead. Then David said to the young man who brought him the report, How do you know that Saul and his son Jonathan are dead? I happened to be on Mount Gilboa, the young man said, and there was Saul leaning on his spear with the chariots and their drivers in hot pursuit. When he turned round and saw me, he called out to me, and I said, What can I do? He asked me, Who are you? An Amalekite, I answered. Then he said to me, Stand here by me and kill me. I'm in the throes of death, but I'm still alive. So I stood beside him and killed him, because I knew that after he had fallen he could not survive. And I took the crown that was on his head and the band on his arm, and have brought them here to my Lord. Then David and all the men with him took hold of their clothes and tore them. They mourned and wept and fasted till evening for Saul and his son Jonathan, and for the army of the Lord, and for the nation of Israel, because they had fallen by the sword.
Psalm 47 Clap your hands, all you nations, shout to God with cries of joy. For the Lord Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. He subdued nations under us, peoples under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. God has ascended amidst shouts of joy, the Lord amidst the sounding of trumpets. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of the God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Creator God, Help us to celebrate this world, but not too much. To enjoy the blessings of life, but not to pin our happiness upon them. To make use of the abundant resources that you have put at our disposal, but not to abuse them. Help us to remember that by gratifying the body is not the same as satisfying the soul. That riches on earth are very different from treasures in heaven. Teach us then to rejoice in all that we have received now, but to use it wisely, lovingly and responsibly, setting our hearts above all on the things of your kingdom, blessings that will never fade or perish. Amen. I have heard